define the structure of the text file, which is a comma separated value file taken from Excel. Browse for the file. It's encoded using the Windows encoding. That's CP1252, a field separator of comma, and a row separator of carriage return line feed. The first row has header information. Refresh the preview. The fields are broken out properly. Double check the types. Everything's a string except for this zip code, uh, but we'll force it as a string, anticipating other types of zip codes that may have a dash or some other character. Drag the schema, source schema, onto the canvas and create another target schema that's going to be based on MySQL. Add the MySQL connection information. and drag that on the canvas after first retrieving the schema and defining the actual table that's going to be the target of this uh, data load. Double check the types and drag it onto the canvas. as an output rather than an input this time. We'll process this with a map because there isn't a one-to-one -one correspondence between the fields of the contact file and the target fields of the MySQL database table. That is, the names are slightly different, postal code versus zip, uh, as well as there's some names that we'll be leaving off with the input file. To do this, you define connectors. That's a right mouse click, and we select row and main and then connect it up with the map processing step. On the left hand side is the schema as defined by the text file settings um, in the previous steps. On the right is the contact table. That's the table that we have defined when, retrieves the, when retrieving the schema from MySQL. Here I'm mapping each of the input fields uh, of interest into the target table. It's a straightforward mapping, but there's some subtle differences. Uh, zip versus post code, for example. Once that's taken care of, do OK and run it. Go over to a terminal window, uh, quick select on the table, and all the records are there.